Recently, W Popoff has been, well, popping off with his completion of Tidal Wave, and his race against Trick, and especially his three times in a row completion of Slaughterhouse. With a lot of these new feats and other Extreme Demon completions in the top 10, many people have been comparing W Popoff to Zoink, who is currently regarded as our resident top player. Which, you know, tends to happen when you've verified three consecutive top ones. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why I don't think it makes sense to compare W Popoff to Zoink, and the reasons why. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. We are currently in a subscriber race with the population of Liechtenstein, a European country with just under 40,000 residents, so subscribe to be a part of that and so you don't miss out on future videos. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So let me preface this video by saying I don't think it's like bad morally to compare W Pop Up to Zoink. I'm not calling people out for doing this. I mostly just think that way of looking at it doesn't really make sense. Like it's undeniably interesting to compare the two, but to some extent it kind of just falls flat in terms of accurately describing the dynamic between the two. First off, Zoink has improved as a player differently than W Pop Up has. Zoink has been in the top playing community scene for quite some time now, starting with his completion of Slaughterhouse, which back then was second victor, but we now know today's first victor, because, you know, space hacked and all that jazz, boosting him into popularity, and then eventually he would take part in a lot of races for new top ones and stuff like that, making progress on a ton of top demons, and eventually verifying Acheron as the new hardest level in the game. From the time that Space UK quote-unquote verified Slaughterhouse, to the time where Acheron was officially verified and placed on the list, was under one year, and making Zoink go from a relatively obscure figure to the top player in many people's eyes very quickly before he eventually, you know, beat the entire main list and then was later revealed to only be the second to do so because Space UK hacked all of his completions. This is all very, very fast. Like, this entire timeline of events happening in under one year is absolutely insane. Zoink is one of, if not the best player to ever touch this game, and that will always be true, barring Space UK 2 Electric Boogaloo. But while Zoink has a very fast progression historically and genuinely just has a massive amount of skill around the game, the way that W Popoff improves at the game is completely different. While Zoink has done his fair share of jumps, W Popoff is simply just an extremely fast learner, and so it's less about jumps and difficulty and more just the fact that Bro could like take a Turnus and simply just learn how to do it faster than most other people. But at the end of the day, both of these players are just extremely talented at the game, and both of them are capable of taking the game much higher in terms of the top player standard. I have full confidence that both of these players could probably verify Eternus. You name a challenge that's humanly possible, and you give one of these two a year or two to do it, it will probably happen. The way these two play the game is slightly different. W Popoff more so does his own thing, like beating Slaughterhouse three times in a row, or doing something like beating Acheron in a world record number of attempts, whereas Zoink keeps outdoing himself over time with new hardests, each time that new hardest being the new top one for the community. At the end of the day, these are both amazing players, and along with Trick, these three are like the juggernauts of the drum crash community, each of whom could verify the next top one and it's ultimately down to who has the most time and dedication to do so. Oh yeah, and also Doggy, we can't forget Doggy. Doggy has been the underrated player for like three years now. And comparing them to each other and the way that people have been doing so in the community so far, it very much just puts one above the other and our arguments about which one should be put above the other in terms of who has the most skill, or who is the best at the game, or who is most likely to verify the next top one. When at the end of the day, both Zoink and W Pop off if they really wanted to, could verify the next top one, could go for Eternus, and both have passion and dedication to this game. This also goes for the other top players like Trick and Doggy who are more on the dedication side, they're less oriented around crazy jumps and more at steady progress on extremely long levels like Grief and Apocalyptic Trilogy. There's also something to be said about the fact that Zoink has been quote unquote the top player for quite some time now, and just like top players before him, he might lose interest in continuing to verify top ones for the rest of time. That doesn't make him a worse player, it just means that he's probably moving on. And that doesn't take away from the fact that if he wanted to, he probably could verify Tidal Wave X2 or some bullshit like that. Whereas W Popoff just got here, I mean literally he's 14, and just started making waves in the community more recently. Some might even say title. But at the end of the day, these are just two extremely good players for their times. And both two extremely good players for the present day. We don't compare Enswish to Zoink and say that Zoink is a better player as a metric for a validity or a spit battle between the two fan bases. I mean, that's not to say that friendly rivalries can't exist. I mean, Trick and W Popoff did have a race against each other for the Tidal Wave first victor badge. But the whole point of that race is that two extremely well talented players who are both capable of beating this level first because they're both absolutely cracked at the game, are seeing who will end up beating it first. It's not a contest to see who's a better player than the other person. The immediate
immediate focus is less on which player is better than the other, and more so on the skill required to complete the level itself. And that's what I think is missing when it comes to a lot of people comparing W Pop off to Zoink. There's no point in comparing top players as skill when their perceived skill is dependent on what they want to do in the Dream Trash community. And if they both go for the same level, like a verification race, or if two other top players race for a hard level, it usually is in those situations, it's less about comparing the two players, pitting them against each other and saying the other one is washed or something when they lose, and more about the fact that genuinely both of these players could end up coming out on top. Originally, I was going to make a video comparing W Pop Off to Zoink, and the more I got into it, the less it made sense to me. Genuinely, you could say that W Pop Off is better than Zoink, or that Zoink is better than W Pop Off, but it means nothing in the end. They're both going to do what they want to do in the game, and they're both extremely skilled. So yeah, that's it for today. Comment down below what you think about comparing W Pop Off to Zoink, and personally, I'm just along for the ride. They're both extremely talented in my opinion. 2.206 video coming out tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.